this video we'll talk about multiplying and dividing real numbers. So let's see if we can follow the pattern. So positive 2 times positive 2 is 4. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 0 is 0. And then 2 times negative 1, well if we look at the pattern it looks like we're decreasing by 2 every time, so it must be negative 2. And then 2 times negative 2, if we decrease by 2 again, we're going to be at negative 4. If we have a negative 2 times a positive 2, it's negative 4, just like what we just found. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. We found that one too in the opposite order. Negative 2 times 0 is 0. Negative 2 times negative 1, this time we're adding 2 every time, so it should be a positive 2. And a negative 2 times a negative 2 would be a positive 4. If we look at the sign rule, it's a product of two numbers of the same sign. That would be like these here and these here. When we have the same sign, you'll notice that we always have a positive answer. And if we have a product of two numbers of a different sign, that's like these, then we have a negative answer every time. It doesn't waver. So let's see if the same thing is true for division. 4 divided by 2 we know to be 2. 4 divided by 1 we know to be 4. 4 divided by 0 does not exist because you can't divide by 0. And so then 4 divided by negative 1, if you look at this it looks like we are increasing by 2 every time. So 4 divided by negative 1 should be negative 4. And 4 divided by negative 2 should be negative 2. And negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2, just like 4 divided by negative 2. Negative 4 divided by 1 is negative 4. Again, you can't divide by 0, so it does not exist. And negative 4 divided by negative 1 then would be a positive 4. And negative 4 divided by negative 2 would be a positive 2. So are the sign rules same or different? Well, when the signs are the same and we are dividing, then it looks like we always got a positive answer, so that one works. And if the signs were opposites, it looks like we always had a negative answer. The division sign rules are the same as the product rules. So let's try some. Remember the rules. We have a negative times a positive, so that means that we're going to have a opposite signs. So when they're opposite signs, then our answer is going to be a negative. So we have a negative and then we take 3 times 4 and that's 12. Here we have the same signs and so we have a positive answer and then we take 10 times 9 to be 90. How about this one? A negative divided by a positive. They're opposite signs so that's going to mean that our answer is a negative. And 27 divided by 3 is 9. We have the same signs here, so we know we're going to have a positive answer. And this is tricky. You find this a lot when we're solving equations, so you want to remember this one. Negative divided by a negative is a positive, and it's going to be a tw positive 21 over 28, but we can simplify that because this is 7 times 3, and 28 is 7 times 4, so it's really a positive 3 over 4. Now 5 divided by 0, remember we are dividing by 0 so it's not, does not exist. You can't divide by 0. Finally this problem. We have opposite signs so we know it's going to be a negative answer and then if we multiply, we're going to have 5 times 12 on the top and 4 times 25 on the bottom, which will give us 60 over 100. And if we reduce that, they both can be divisible by 10. And that will leave us with 6 over 10. And then we still, but we still have a negative here all the way through and then I have a negative and they're both divisible by 2 so 3 times 2 is 6 and 5 times 2 is 10 so our answer is negative 3 fifths.